Hey guys, welcome back. It is almost two in the morning and I remember that I wanted to make this video about this little piece that I made. Now there's nothing particularly special about this. Uh, this is an extra casting that I made when I was doing the parts for the Magic Wheelchair Project that we presented at San Diego Comic-Con a few weeks ago. Now if you haven't heard about Magic Wheelchair, it's this really, really awesome charity that makes basically costumes for wheelchair-bound children, so uh, costumes for the entire wheelchair. Uh, I worked on a tie silencer with Michael McMaster and Red Dodge. Michael McMaster basically welded up almost the whole ship, and then I was tasked with doing a lot of the detail stuff. So, in doing the details, a couple of the pieces I just wanted to 3D print because I was super busy, didn't have time to fabricate them. So I was trying to cut some corners and cheat for time. So I 3D modeled this part, and uh, printed it and then I molded it. Now typically I would model a part like this um, as is, print it, build a little box and mold it. I didn't really have time for all that. So what I did is I actually printed the box around the part. So this is one piece and this is the original 3D print and this wall is strictly made to contain the silicone. So basically all I have to do is print the piece. I sprayed a little bit of primer on it just to uh, just to help seal it a little bit, but I didn't really even do any cleanup. I set it on a nice level surface, and then I poured silicone in, and then I got a little mold. That's all I had to do, so I didn't have to build the box or anything. Now, would it have been faster to make the box on its own? Um, a little bit. However, this was going on in the background while I was doing other things. So even though this took longer to print, I didn't have to do any extra work. I just hit print, came back, sprayed the primer, poured the silicone, and then I had a mold. And then from that mold, I can make little resin pieces like this. It's very, very convenient. Um, and I'm gonna start using this method more for small pieces. Like for example, um, some of the three peel parts that are uh, the little arm details and so forth would be perfect for this because uh, they're flat on the back. So, you know, typically I'd have to print it, clean it up, glue it down, build the box. I can just print the whole dumb box and everything, pour the silicone. And what's great about it is that once you've done it, um, if you ever need to make more parts or your mold wears out, you just keep your, your master and just pour more silicone in whenever you're ready. You don't have to re-glue boxes and so forth. It's, uh, it's really handy. Um, but let me show you how I set this up. We'll go over to Fusion 360 now. All right, guys, so we are here in Fusion 360. I'm going to talk a little bit quiet because people are asleep. And here's the part. Close this. Um, it's really simple, as you can see. Flat bottom. Maybe like a 10-minute model. Maybe less. Um, and what I did is created this box. You guys saw before. It looks like that. So I'll turn the part off. You can see what it is. It's just a floor and then the walls and you can notice it's kind of shaped like the actual part which is done to save silicone because if it was just a big rectangular box it would use much much more material so by making it the shape of the object uh, it's more efficient and cheaper and how I did this was I traced the extents of the part in sketch mode and then using offset which is under sketch offset right here it extends the line out. I think I did maybe half an inch. And then using the outer line, I did another offset, which is maybe, I don't know, millimeter and a half or millimeter and three quarters. And I basically extruded those down. So I extruded this down from the base because the floor here is even with the bottom of our part. And then I extruded the walls upward. So I just have a little box. Now, before I exported this, I actually connected them together. So if you see over here on the left, these are the pieces. I combined them into their own parts. So this is just one piece now. And um, that's how I printed it. And to save that out for printing, you just right click on the part and you can hit save as STL. And that's what I use to export my parts to my 3D printing software. Um, and that's it, it was that simple. So anyway, that's the basic setup. Um, hopefully that's helpful to some people. I think it's really, really handy. Uh, I'm going to do some more videos uh, about similar methods of printing in 
uh, dividing lines for more complicated molds. I'm going to be doing some more of that stuff in the future where it's all 3D printed, but um, instead of building a clay wall and making your dividers, it's all printed into the parts. So just to make it a time saver and a repeatable step. So in the future, if you have to remake molds, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and then I'm going to do a video tomorrow about the droids back here, especially EV99. These are going out tomorrow. They're going to be gone. Um, they are sold. I'm going to make another one for myself, but I figure it's right here, so I may as well show you guys. And um, I'm also going to talk about 2K auto primers because uh, I've started using 2K primer and it's awesome. And we'll get into that soon. If you don't know what it is. Uh, Look at it in the future. I'll have a new video. But um, let me see if my dog's down here. Say goodnight, buddy. He's like, he doesn't know what's going on. He's just hanging out with me. But uh, anyway, thanks guys for stopping by. And I will see you kids soon.